Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of God Lex, and I'm happy to present my new bike. Those of you who have been following me for the past two months would know that I've actually gone through the process of having my own custom built bike. So this is basically just an uh, S-Works new tarmac frame that has been painted, custom painted by Lumar Colors in Italy. And um, the design was done by a cool guy called Ronald Jones who also does the uh, Peter Sagan bikes and a lot of the specialized uh, riders custom bikes. So this was actually a design I came up with in collaboration with him and it's a two-tone um, design meaning that it has one uh, color on one side and another color on the other side. The bike is built with a uh, brand new SRAM ETAP 22. I've been riding SRAM for many years now and this is my first time with the electronic gear shift. It was pretty easy to set up. I didn't do it myself. I had someone do it for me, but it looked pretty easy and it looks really, really great in my opinion. The cockpit is a SIP stem, the Sprint SL, and com uh, in, uh, this, the handlebar is uh, uh, SL80, also from, from SIP. It is uh, 40 centimeters in width and the stem is 120 millimeters. So it's a nice stiff cockpit. Pedals are tuned uh, speed play zeros. They have titanium axles, uh, not the standard ones from, uh, from speed play, but some custom made from uh, Ward Industries that are stiffer than the ones you get from speed play. Also, the butterfly tires are aluminum instead of the steel ones. The crank set is a rotor 3D plus with a power to max power meter. Uh, currently it has 52, 36 chain rings, uh, but might opt that for 52, maybe 53, and uh, 38 when the season gets started. The length of the crank arms is 172.5. The saddle is a uh, specialized S-Works Romine Evo. I pre previously wrote the uh, Romine Evo Pro and this one is just a tad lighter and it sits on top of the specialized S-Works seat post. The wheels on this bike is brand new NV45s with the new brake tra uh, track meaning that it should have better braking in the wet. I also have a setup with uh, NV67s laced to uh, DT Swiss 240S hubs and also a set of uh, uh, aluminium clinchers uh, with two Micmac hubs that weigh just above uh, 1300 grams. But these are built with the uh, NV uh, carbon hubs and they are really really light, just uh, below 1500 grams for the set. The weight of this bike is actually 7.12 kilos. So it could be lighter, but it could also be a lot heavier. Um, and that's with standard uh, inner tubes and just some, some uh, uh, tires that I had laying around. I will put uh, S-Works uh, turbo tires on this, giving it, uh, hoping making it a bit lighter. And also some uh, latex inner tubes to just get the last part. So that's the new bike. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to watch the other videos of the process of making this bike and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. So for now, thanks for watching and bye.